Hey everyone, it's Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be exploring craft cart organization. This is a video that I have been asked to record repeatedly by you all. I know you've been waiting very patiently for it and I'm excited to give you a peek at my craft cart and just give you some inspiration on how you can approach organization and storage in such a small space. I love my craft cart. I find that it works super, super well. I'm going to be completely honest in saying that I am actually not going to be using this for very much longer, not because I don't love it, but because my craft space is actually going through a reorganization and a little bit of construction. I'm getting a lot of new storage and I am getting a lot of new opportunities for organization. So I wanted to record this now because I'm not sure that my craft cart is going to come into my new space just because I'm going to have some new storage possibilities and capabilities. But I wanted to get this recorded for you because I know craft carts are super popular and I know many use them and they are a wonderful storage solution when you have a smaller space to work in. So let's go ahead and get started. I really want to focus on how to keep organized in a craft cart and also just a couple tips and tricks when you are organizing yours. So I found this craft cart at Michael's. I will do my best to link everything that I'm using down in the description box below this video. Also, I'm not quite used to filming by hand, so your patience and kindness is so appreciated in the comment section, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, so this craft cart is great because it's a little bit longer than a traditional craft cart, which is super nice because more storage, right? And I love craft carts because they're also really, really thin and they're skinny, so they can kind of fit against a wall really nicely or up against a desk really nicely, which is how I usually store mine. And this also has a topper option. You have to purchase it separately, but I'll link it down below because I do have it. I'm not using it right now, but there is a wooden topper that you can put on top in case you want to enclose one of the tiers, which is super, super handy and nice. One of the things that I found super helpful when organizing my own craft cart is to think about bins. So don't just be putting all of your things on the three trays, right? You need to think about storage within storage. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I actually have these little organization containers that I put inside of each of the tiers. Now, they're all kind of a hodgepodge of different ones, kind of based on what I need them to store and the size I need, but they all serve a nice purpose and it helps keep some organizational storage within storage. So in this top one, I love this because it has little slots, right? So you can kind of put things nicely in there without them falling over. For this particular one, it works really great for my little panels. So this is really wonderful for storing your cut down panels. I pre-cut down my panels for card making. It just really helps me to be able to grab and create really quickly. But I also use this area to store cards that I have made that I haven't sent out yet. So it's just a really, really wonderful little um, storage little bin that I really, really have enjoyed. The next one that I decided to use was a mail holder. I purchased this from Michaels a while ago. See, it says mail on there. But any type of file holder, if you will, will work for this. So I like this because you can store things upright, but again, you can store in sections. And I'll try to kind of rotate over there so that you can see how there are separate sections for each one. So I like to think about things that I grab for all the time. So one thing I grab for all the time is my paper trimmer. So I make sure that that is front and center. Another thing that I grab for very, very often is my colored paper. I really like the paper from Concord Ninth, so I have that all organized in here. I still need to put labels on all of my little tabs, but I'll, I'll get there. So I have them all organized here, and then it's very, very quick and easy to quickly grab 
what I need and get creating. In this back area, I have things that I also grab for quite often, which is my Misty, my mini Misty, and then I also have, it should be tucked right back here, but I also have my scoreboard. So I wanted to have those things that I find that I grab for nonstop, really, really close and easy to grab. Another thing that I want to mention about craft cart storage is that they can um, hold little magnetic bins on the side, which is super, super helpful because then you can get additional storage on the outside of your craft cart. So I found this little piece at, I believe it was Target, but you can find things like this all the time. Or if you find a piece like this, you can put little magnetic strips on the back. But I hold these little popsicle sticks that I like to use with mixed media there. I also have my little stamp positioner tool just at the ready. I also found these at Dollar Tree, which are really nice. They are little containers and they have little magnetic pieces on the back. So they just magnetize really, really easily to my craft space and this little nice craft cart. So I went ahead and organized those by things that I grab for quite often. So foam tape, tape and glue, and then all types of erasers like the sand eraser, adhesive eraser, and etc. Then the next little tier that I have is how I am storing the stamp sets and the embossing folders that I have used. Now this is not all of the things that I own. That is quite another story. I have quite a bin of things that I have, but I am organizing here things that I have used. So on the left side, I have these really nice clear containers. I have one here, one here, and those are from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. They're super, super nice and they fit really nicely within the cart. I have all of my patterned paper here and I like having that there for easy grab and go. In the middle, I have all of the embossing folders, again, that I have used. These aren't all that I've owned, but I like to keep a little area of things that I have purchased, but then when everything has been used, then they get filed away in this little system here. Now I'm gonna have a new filing system for my stamps, embossing folders, and my foil plates all in my new craft space, but for now this is where I started and it has worked really well for me. Down here in my little embossing folder area as well, I have just my little stamp chamois and my little stamp chamois container because I grab that often. And then over here is where I store my stamp and die collection. I have them with these really nice tabs and then of course they're labeled with this label maker that I really really like I highly recommend it so I have them organized by company you can go ahead and approach that any way that you like some go ahead and organize that by holiday by season I like to do by company but you know what, that's something that probably is always changing as organization expands. So that's how I do it for now and I have found that it really, really works for me. So I will link down in the description box below these really nice tabs because they're super, super nice. And then how I organize is I have, let me see if I can find one with stamps and dies. So for example, with this stamp and die set, I have the stamps in the front and then I have a magnetic sheet with the dies in the back. And then of course there is the company name and the stamp collection name right on there. That way it's easy for me to know what I am working with. Moving on to the final and third tier of my craft card, I have a little bit more freeing and empty space. Over here I have a little area where I just put things that need to be labeled and stored. So I have some extra little tabs and I also have some foil plates down there that I need to label with my label maker on a pouch and get stored away. I also have in here items and supplies that I grab for time and time again. And I wanted to have a place for dies and other accessories that I use over and over again because I didn't want to have to go into this area every time I made a card if I knew that they were supplies that I reach for for every card. So in here I have my A2 panel dies. I would open this up but it's a little hard one-handed to show you all of my must-haves but I have a lot of the things that I use 
over and over again there because it's just easier to grab a pouch of all my favorites and grab that and go than have to search through an org organization system, excuse me, to get everything ready to go. I also really love these pink bins. They are really, really nice. I have them throughout my craft space in cupboards and in other areas. I just really, really enjoy them. I also really like these labels. I've yet to label mine, but I also have those scattered around my craft space because it's such a wonderful way to organize. I will say that these fit super, super nice on the bottom of my craft cart. I really like the size of them. I will admit though that they take a little bit of jostling to get in there because they are about the same height as the opening, but once in there, they just fit super, super nice and I really like how they look in there. I also have my Spellbinders Platinum 6 right in the middle there. I use it mostly for embossing or when I am doing my hot foiling, so I keep it right down there and it's not usually on my craft space and craft desk but I like to kind of keep that tucked away okay so that is my craft card I hope that was helpful I'm going to move on to a little bit more of drawer storage and other ways that you can really really compactly get your supplies organized because I think that might be helpful as well Okay, so let's continue chatting about storage and organization and how you can use smaller spaces to get all of your craft supplies super organized. Another area that I use often is my Ikea drawer unit. I love this. I particularly love the short or narrow drawers. I think that they are very, very useful. I like having short drawers and many of them. It's super helpful. I have some storage options for my markers up here that I really like. I'll link them down below. I actually have three of those tiered towers, but I only have two within frame here. I also have a really fun ink storage option for full-size ink pads. And again, I'll link that down below as well. One of the newest things that I have introduced to my craft space is a crafting carousel, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if that's the technical term, but it's a term that I use and I am obsessed with this. I like how well built it is. This is from Hobby Lobby, but I'll link a similar one down below for you. I love, again, that it has smaller organization systems within a big area because you can organize small groupings of things within this space. So I love it. So I have my fine detail scissors over here, embossing powder. Then I have some acrylic stamping blocks up here. I have additional fun things that I use often. Again, focusing on things that I grab for time and time again. So I'm not ruffling through drawers and trying to find all the things I need each and, each and every time I want to create a card. So I have my little wand here, bone folder. I have tweezers. I have my little hot hands here for heat embossing and keeping my fingers cool. I have some snips for snipping apart the coordinating dies. And then all of my glues are here. I have a little area for my little square adhesives, which is super handy. I have some little blender brushes here couple embellishments and then this middle area it's really nice for taller things like scissors I also have my much much loved t-square ruler and some spray adhesive so I love this so much it also has some drawers I honestly don't utilize those I haven't found a need for them quite yet but never say never I'm sure I'll find something to put inside of those but I have found this so nice it sits right next to my craft mat as I am working and I love that I can see everything but I also love respectively that it's pretty organized so it's not just a jumbled mess. It's kind of a happy organization area, right? Organized chaos is how I like to, <laughs> to say it, but I think it works really, really well. Okay, let's go ahead and peek into some of these drawers. I wanted to share how you can organize really efficiently within smaller drawer spaces. So in here I have my ink cubes and this is where I house all of the tinier ink pads. So I have this little organization system. It's by the same company that created my marker storage and also my full size ink pad storage. So again, I'll link this down below, but I love this because it's it's skinny enough to take in and out of the drawer that way you can take it out and put it on your workspace as you're working but also it's skinny enough to place right in this drawer and close everything stays nice and clean 
Then over on the right, I have a fun little storage for my sequins. I really like this. If you open it up inside, there are tiny little containers where you can individually store all of your little sequin pouches. I will admit that it usually takes about two little storage containers to store each pouch. So I just wanted to make you aware of that, but I absolutely love it. I think it's such a fun and visual way to see all of my little embellishments and it makes it so easy because I can pull this out really, really quickly, place it next to my work surface, but then again, respectfully put it back in the drawer and keep everything super, super nice and tidy. Okay, that is drawer number one. In drawer number two, I have adhesives, which is super, super fun. So I have my full size adhe square adhesives and then the minis, which are super, super fun and easy to use. I really pull for those often, which is why you see a couple little sheets of them up in my little craft carousel. But then again, I like to buy them in bulk. So I have all of the additional ones down here. I have a variety of other adhesives and then of course I have my rolls of foam tape here and one of my most favorite things are these full A2 size panels of foam. They are double sided adhesive. I'll link them down below. They are one of my favorite things to use when card making. So, so fun. Okay, so that is a lovely drawer of adhesives. And then in the third drawer, I have kind of a mix mash of a lot of different things. So I have embossing powders and a couple mixed media items, some little spatulas for mixed media. I actually found these at Dollar Tree and <laughs> they're really, really nice to use and they've been working so far. I have some little blending tools here. I have some Simon Hurley inks. I have my small but growing collection of Distress Oxides and my Momento ink that I use a lot. I actually should probably put this in my carousel up there, but I just keep it in the drawer. And then I have Simon Hurley's Lunar Paste down here as well. And I like to store them this way just because I like to quickly see their color. So if I have them this way, then you obviously just see the cap, but storing them this way, it's just a really visual way to open up a drawer and really quickly see your supplies and what you can quickly grab for, which is the same reason why I store my embossing powders like that as well. Okay, the next drawer, I'm trying to remember what's in here. Oh, this is just my cardstock. So this is my Nina Solar White Classic Crest cardstock. I have it in the 80 pound. I also have it in 110 pound. 80 pound is mostly for my card panels, which you saw earlier that I trimmed down and have those ready to go. And 110 pound is for my card bases. I do bring this in from time to time as well when I'm stacking die cuts, because I really, really love the thickness of it, but most often it's my card bases. And then I also keep my scraps just on the top there because it's a nice area for me to quickly see if I have anything smaller that I can use before cutting into a bigger piece. I love these storage paper trays. They are so, so nice. They fit in this drawer so nice and it helps me just differentiate between which card stock I need to quickly grab. And then I also have my little pixie tape down here in a nice little tape dispenser, which is super handy as well. Okay, going down into this little area, I have my hot foiling system, which is super nice. I have that right over here. And then I have the accessories right here with the little grabber tool for the hot foil plate, the rolls that I have so far, and then the cardstock that I like to use for hot foiling is in this drawer. That way I can differentiate which one I like to use for hot foiling. And then my final drawer is just my heat embossing tool, some extra cutting plates for my die cutting machines and my envelope maker. So nothing really too exciting in there. But I hope this was helpful to you. I hope this helped you realize that you can do a lot of storage in a little bit of space because I have and it has actually been really, really um, effective and helpful for me. So I hope that this was inspiring and helpful and I hope that you enjoyed just taking a quick peek at how I organize all of my things. All right, everyone, I'll see you soon when I'm moving into my new space and you can see how I'm going to kind of reorganize some of this stuff. I'm going to have some new storage opportunities, but again, I really wanted to share this because I do believe that you don't need a ton of space in order to be really effective with organization. So, all right, everyone, I will see you all in the next video. Please be sure to give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful in any way, and I can't wait to continue crafting with you.